Just had a weekend with a hum. They all had a weekend with their family today. That was them all going back to prison, huh? To prison, to jail. It was jail for children. So he can make his salary, so she can make her salary, so they can make their salary. Everyone can get paid. Everyone is trafficking children. It's all trafficking. I wish they would stop this now. It's hard to imagine the feeling as a mother. It's hard to imagine that How feeling. Can I let them go? Because they have no choice. Because I'm not the criminal. They are. If I put my kids back, it's the only way. It's fighting. You fight. You don't give up on your children. 90% of the children in Megadim, their parents have given up on them. They allow them to be taken. There's only 10% of the families like me who fight. Well, you're not, you're not going to stop. Never. 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 They're counting on you. I could hear them all day. You know they're such beautiful girls. So bright, so funny. Intelligent. Intelligent, good drawers, well behaved. They're great. Little ladies. Apart from the last hour when they knew they were leaving. Then they started crying. They started to get withdrawn. They started to look at the clock. They were leaving before they were leaving. It's horrible that last hour. Because you're punished. I told my mother, 
they told them that their mum that if they're five minutes late, she'll be picked, she'll be jailed for kidnapping. They were 15 minutes late being picked up, but I noticed. power is incredible. You know, if they were really difficult kids or you were a violent woman or... I don't know. I think I would be violent to my children. Nobody gets this... Um, I would never be violent. I don't, I'm not a violent woman. Oh. I, never, I, never, I don't even know how to defend myself. Your brother's very powerful in their lives as well, you know. Moses. He's the best uncle in the world. He's traumatized, you can see that, um, by what's happening. And uh, he went out today, huh? Yeah, I hope he has fun. First time. First time in first two and time and a half years. since the girls were taken almost. Yes. That he's actually managed to go out. See, it touches the whole family, doesn't it? It touches everyone. It's not just the kids, it's. it's the mother, the father, the grandparents, it's me, it's the friends. Like it's me. It's my brother, the uncle. It's my mum, their grandma. It's their dog. Yeah. It's their dog, you know, she started growling at them. Why are you taking them back there again? I did notice the cat was happy to see them, <laughs> even though it has no eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but even the cat was happy. Even the cat was <laughs> delighted to have his girls home. So the clock starts ticking down again now, Marigold, for the next visit. And they count the hours, I count the hours and the minutes. And you'll talk to them on the phone and then we start you start again with the fight, the courts, the the cases. The the courts are gonna continue. Let's keep going. You're a good woman. Well done to you.